What's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Lorna Marie here. Today for you, I'm bringing you a shop with me video, but we're bringing you two different stores. We're doing home goods and Dollar Tree, and I'm so excited to show you everything that's new for the Christmas season. So everything is pretty much out at both of these stores. I know they're gonna be replenishing, but you will get a great idea of what you need to pick up for this holiday season. Also, at the end of each section, I'm going to be showing you all the things that I picked up in a haul, so stay tuned for that. Also, I picked up a few things for my bedroom from Home Goods. I'll show you guys that at the end of the video. But if you don't know this, I'm a full-time RVer. We are a family of six. I have four kids, and we were traveling, and our RV got a crack, so we were in hotels. It was honestly kind of crazy. Um, but now, we're finally back at home, but we had to repaint a bunch of stuff. I'm doing a whole new type of setup, so you will see some of that um, in my Home Goods haul. I'm excited to show you guys. They always have the best arts and crafts stuff for holidays and they did not disappoint this time. I didn't stock up on any because I did get a couple things from the Target dollar spots, but I might come back and get a few things, um, you know, if I feel like we need more like arts supplies. so many cute signs you guys I was very impressed I don't have a lot of space for stuff like this I may go back and get like a couple for the kids door or something like that but there was so many different ones and I would highly suggest getting them now Now this particular Dollar Tree had all kinds of toys. I was very impressed. They had a bunch of Disney stuff. There was like molding things like this and I didn't pick up any of those because I did get some from the 99 cent store. But there was all kinds of stocking stuffers. So I would pick some of these up here because they're so affordable. You don't have to pay like $3. You only have to pay a dollar. Here is my haul. I'm gonna show you everything that I got. Oh, look at that. There we go. <laughs> um, so first off, I got these containers. I'm gonna do like a Christmas party with the kids. I thought this would be great. And I've always been obsessed with the paint bucket looking ones. I don't know why. So when I saw those, it was a no brainer. They had other ones too that I think had like candies on them and stuff, but I don't know why. I just thought these ones were way cuter. Then we got some white chocolate Reese's. I got those because my daughter loves white chocolate. So now the next items are stocking stuffers. These were all only a dollar. I got two sets because I have two girls and then I got four of these and then I'm gonna split them up between the two boys. So I'm already starting to get my stocking stuffers together. If I see cute things at the dollar store, I just get them because they don't always have really good name brand stuff. So when you see it, definitely get it. Okay, next up I got these lollipops. I love having these in my backpack. It's like, I always tell you guys, bring lollipops for emergency situations and then I put these in my first aid kit. I'll link my first aid kit for you guys up above and down below. All right, so next up I got, look how cute these are. These are pretty much our colors that we have um, inside the RV is like gold and silver and touches of red. So I got two sets of those. They come with um, two each. Then I got these cups, which look, it has like a straw on the inside. How cute is that? And then it has this little flip top. I thought the kids would love that for the season. I got four, cause you know I have four kids. Okay, then I got these snowflakes. It's actually like a little garland, so I thought I could hang, attach them all together and hang them up. How cute are these? So cute for a dollar. I had more, but then I was like, ooh, am I going too hard? <laughs> so I decided to put some back. Then I got this really cute Merry Christmas sign. Super good quality, I can't even believe it's a dollar. Then I got this photo prop kit for our Christmas party. I got this for my son. He's starting to learn to do puzzles. I thought that would be good. I haven't seen any like that in a long time. Then I got these little Christmas present boxes. Now they're ornaments, which I could use them for ornaments, but I'm also gonna use them um, as table for my table setting. I'm gonna put one of these next to each kid's chair. Well, I'm gonna put it on the table, but um, where each kid sits. 
will be one of those, which I thought was so cute. And it's exactly my colors, which is awesome. Then I have this Santa stop here. The kids are gonna love that. How cute is this? It's, it got ripped right here when the guy put it in the bag, which is fine, I'll just hot glue it. Then I got this little guy. I'm probably gonna put this on my drink station, like in a tiered little tray. And then I got some doilies for my tiered tray, Christmas doilies. And then the kids wanted to paint with these rollies. And I'm using a roller to paint right now. And so the kids really wanted a roller to paint. And I was like, oh, I'll just get one from the dollar store. So I got a couple of those. And last but not least, okay, this was like my favorite item that I found. They actually stack on top of each other. Oh, so I'm gonna do mine like this. I wanted two gingerbread and then the snowman in the middle. How cute, I'm gonna put marshmallows and like graham crackers or I don't know what I'm gonna put, but how cool is that that they stack? They're plastic, so they're definitely not like the best quality, but they're great quality for um, your coffee bar for the season. And yeah, I'm so excited about these. We have now entered Home Goods, which is one of my absolute favorite stores. There's just so much fun stuff to look at and oh my gosh. Now I'm going to stick to mostly Christmas stuff. And then I'm also gonna show you the section where there's like some serving trays and stuff like that. But I wanted to just keep it more Christmas based. And then I'll still show you all the stuff that I got even though some of it is not for Christmas. I get a lot of questions asking me where I store all of my holiday items since I live in an RV and there's limited space. I actually have two storages, um, one's a regular size and one's fairly big that has all of my actual furniture. We want to move into a house eventually someday. Um, if more time goes by and we're still in an RV, I'm eventually gonna just get rid of my storages. But for now it's nice, we can put our off-season stuff and my holiday decor and just kind of have that flexibility to move things back and forth. Question of the day, you guys, let me know down below, what colors do you use in your Christmas decor? Do you stick with traditional red and greens? Do you do fun colors that are not traditional? Let me know in the comments below. Another question that I have for you guys is, when do you start decorating for Christmas? Do you wait until after Thanksgiving or do you do it before Thanksgiving? And if you did it a certain way before, are you changing it up this year because of COVID and just people seem to be doing things earlier? I'd love to hear what your ideas are on this Christmas season. And I keep telling myself don't waste it. Got a good thing, don't change it. I got a lot to lose now that I've got you and I was wishing for the best I have it. You and me got Hollywood magic, never gonna give it up, never give it up. And you got me setting all I know on fire. Cause you all right, you guys, so here is my home goods haul. I spent $240 or $30, something like that. But um, let's get everything out of these bags, ready? 
All right, you guys, here is my haul. So we're gonna go through everything. I'm gonna tell you prices and all that good stuff. I am really struggling with these. I might return these because they're white, but I really wanted something to break up. I have um, like a peachy, not peachy, but like a light pink bedding coming in. And then I have this as a throw. And then so I'm gonna have, I don't know, I just wanted something to break it up. I'm gonna try it, see what it looks like. If it looks amazing, I'm gonna keep it. If it's like not perfect, then I'm gonna get rid of these three pillows because obviously I'm in an RV, everything's dirty. But I want my backdrop to be good. So these were $19.99 a piece. So it was so it was $60 for everything. And then I got this cute little tree, you guys. How cute is this? This was $9.99. How adorable, right? I was gonna get two and then I was like, no, I'm in an RV, I only need one. Then I got this blanket, which is so pretty. So the, the bedding that I got is um, a lighter dusty pink. And then I got this to go with it to like add a different tone, not a different tone, but a different shade. So that way I can kind of mix it and make it a little more boho, glam boho instead of just glam. Um, then I got this, I think how much, oh, this was $12.99. Um, I thought that would be cute for the RV in like little smaller spaces. Then I got this for my bedroom, how cute. It matches these guys perfectly. I'll show you guys those up close in a second. But look it, so these pillows also go in my room and I'm gonna put this above. And this was $12.99, but it's got like rose gold, which is like the pink, the gold and the silver. Totally my colors for Christmas. So I got these pillows, these were $14.99. They actually say, be our guest on the other side, but I'm not gonna use it. I'm, I got them for the color because they match this very well. I think it's gonna look so perfect. Then we have these guys, which these were $9.99 each. Look how gorgeous, I'm gonna try to get up close. How pretty. I love sparkly things so much. I love the boho look, but I'm just, I'm a glam girl all the way. So I'm gonna try to like mix in a little bit and see how I feel. Then I got these, these were $7.99. Um, I think I'm gonna like put something at the bottom so that way I can kind of stick these on here so they get a little bit more height on them. Okay, then I got this guy, which I believe this was what? Oh, $4.99. It says, get it girl. I always say that. That's my saying. And then it's like this pearlescent pink. I'm like, okay, I don't know what I'm gonna use this for. Hair brushes, pens, pencils. This could be my cooking utensil thing. I don't know, but I just loved how pearly and pink it was. I don't know if you guys can see that. It's literally so pretty. Okay, then I got these two guys. So this was only $5.99 if I remember correctly. Yes, $5.99. I wanted a smaller one. I have a heart one, but I just wanted to have more options for charcuterie boards. And then this one was really cool. This one was $16.99, but it comes with these little cheese spoons. I thought that was super cute. And this one is a, is a fairly bigger size. Let me show you in comparison to this one. So, well, it's not that much bigger, but it's definitely a bigger size. I love that that comes with the spoons though. That was a really cute thing. And then the last thing I got were, I got some wrapping paper, which I want all my wrapping paper to match and go together. So they were all $2.99 except this one. This one was three, actually this one was $3.99 too. So this one is a very pale pink with silver. This is gold, a little bit of gold with mostly silver and white. It's so pretty. And then I'm pretty sure this one was $2.99 too. Yeah, $2.99. And this has silver deers on there with white. And then I got a gold. So I thought these would all look super pretty together. And I got to kind of mix and match whatever ones that I actually wanted, which I like. Because if you think about the price, this is what? Three, six, nine plus four is 13. So I feel like if you buy a set, it's going to be around the same price, but I got to pick everything that I wanted. So love that. Anyways, yeah, I feel like it looks so good all together already, even though they're not all going together, but you can kind of see my tones that I got going on here. Love it. Thank you guys so much for watching. And until next time, I'm always your girl, Lorna Marie. Mwah. Held in the echoes, secrets that we know, doors that open.